It won't be easy, but Wisconsin Democrats hope to regain control of the state Senate this November, and they're focused on several key races. One of their best pickup opportunities was thought to be the 17th district in southwest Wisconsin, the seat held by retiring Republican Dale Schultz. But that was before a recount flipped the outcome of the August 12th primary. Spring Green attorney Pat Bomhack ended up defeating the original primary winner, Ernie Whitwer, and now Bomhack faces Republican State Representative Howard Markline. Today, we're talking with the Democratic candidate, Pat Bomhack, who's at our Madison affiliate, WKOW TV. Pat Bomhack, thanks very much for, for being with us today. Uh, let me begin with, with the obvious question here. Ernie Whitworth said uh, when it was uh, declared that you were the winner of this primary that this seat was a lock for Howard Markline. What was your reaction to that? How do you view this race right now? Well, clearly, this was a very close race. And it was a very exciting race, uh, one of the closest in recent history. And what I've noticed now that the general has started is that Democrats are really united and still very energized. Uh, more encouraging is the fact that independents and even many moderate Republicans, what I like to call sort of the Dale Schultz Republicans, are joining our campaign. And so we are a big tent campaign running against a very conservative candidate who has more of a small tent campaign. And so I'm very optimistic about our chances in November, and I'm looking forward to representing the people of southwest Wisconsin in the state Senate. So you don't think there's any lingering uh, resentment among uh, the supporters of Ernie Whitwer who are, who are not happy about how this uh, election ended? Ernie ran an outstanding campaign, but as I've said, in the weeks since, we have met with Democratic groups all around the district, and we've reached out to independents and moderate Republicans. And the one thing that people agree on is we need to carry forward Dale Schultz's legacy of being independent-minded and putting the interests of the people ahead of your party. And that's the stark divide between myself and Howard Markline. So I'm very optimistic uh, that things are going well, and uh, that's going to determine the election. Um, I'm wondering if you feel that you're at any sort of disadvantage because of the fact that the recount took some time. You had to sort of put campaigning on hold. Uh, Howard Markline has continued to raise money. He's continued to campaign. Has that put you at a disadvantage uh, as we uh, head into the final stretch of this race? I don't think so. You know, Howard Markline's campaign money is his reward for spending the last four years in Madison working on behalf of corporate interests and on behalf of people who don't live in our district and don't live in the state of Wisconsin. Howard voted to take money out of our rural schools out here and send it to private, unaccountable schools outside the district. He voted against cracking down on corporations who come into Wisconsin, take our tax incentives, and then don't deliver on the jobs that they promised. And so what I am focused on is not these out-of-district, out-of-state corporate interests, but on the local issues affecting the local residents in southwest Wisconsin. A uh, quick question. Uh, you, you've invoked uh, the name of Dale Schultz, the, the Republican State Senator, on a couple of occasions. Uh, but Dale Schultz has said and, and told me on this program, he said, I'm very much a Republican. I may not have agreed with the Republican Party on everything that has been done in the last few years, but I'm a Republican. It should be pointed out, you're definitely a progressive Democrat, are you not? I mean, how much do you share in common with Dale Schultz in terms of political views? You know, Dale is a Republican and I'm a Democrat. But the thing that we share in common is a fundamental belief that people out here deserve a senator who will reach across the aisle and work together with members of both political parties to build consensus. As you know, Mike, real leadership in a world of divergent opinions is about oftentimes compromise and finding consensus. And that's what Dale and I share, is that viewpoint. And so I'm going to carry forward Dale Schultz's proud legacy of being independent-minded and working to build consensus 
in Madison. Howard, by contrast, is one of the most partisan members of the Assembly. He not only refuses to work with Democrats, he even opposes many moderate Republicans in his own party. And as he said himself, that's part of the reason he got in this race in the first place. He was upset that Dale Schultz did not vote with the Republican Party 100% of the time, only 98.6% of the time. Howard Markline is part of the problem, and I will be part of the solution. Uh, do you expect to get an endorsement from Dale Schultz? The endorsement I am seeking is from the people of Southwest Wisconsin, and that's what I'm fighting for, and that's what I'm going to fight for as the next state senator from District 17. Pat Bomhack, the Democratic candidate in District 17. We appreciate your time today. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you, Mike. Coming up next, jobs and jobs plans back at the forefront of the race for governor.